at it because I was trying to lay out some very specific information so y'all could hear what we we're talking about. Let me tell you what, when I look at the history of Santa Ana and what he did, you know what? He should be charged by war crimes by his own country. That's right. Not only was he a dictator put into military, uh, uh, by military coup to hold the presidency after he lost it, after he lost the Battle of the Alamo, he went back to be president for several more terms. Did y'all know that he lost his leg in a battle with the French? And then he buried his leg and had a state ceremony for that leg. The people of Mexico tore down the monument that he made to his amputated leg, and then they drug it around Veracruz, Mexico, chanting a bunch of very uh, uh, racially motivated slurs. But that's what they, that's how the Mexicans feel about Santa Ana. So what I told them is that if you guys want to honor Santa Ana, then you feel free to go to the Mexican consulate. We recognize sovereignty. Go to the Mexican consulate, it's a few blocks that way. Or the Rio Grande border is no more than two hours just south of here by any major city, by any major highway you want to take. So y'all feel free to go on and honor, the, honor anybody you want on the other side of the border. Just like we're not going to go put a monument of George Washington in Mexico City, we're not going to put a monument honoring this, anybody else that died inside of here because you know they were murderers they murdered the people that were inside of here i understand they were following orders but they still carried out acts against a group of people that was trying to live their life and that is something that we have to hold dear to and as we move forward in everything texas we have to put texas first in everything that we do because I know that we've got people here that came from North Texas. That's right. We got people that came here from East Texas. That's right. And we got people that came here from West Texas. And yes, absolutely right. from South Texas. Yeah. yeah. And here's what they need to know. When we say when we say we're putting Texas first, we mean it. That's right. And as your next Texas land office commissioner, I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna make people so proud of Texas that they're either gonna wanna come or they're gonna wanna leave. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. And I think George and I are okay with some of them leaving. Yeah. Because as land commissioner, you know what? There's a whole lot of things that you do as land commissioner. And my background is diverse enough where I actually have the blessing and privilege of being a statewide commissioner before. I've also got all the background in infrastructure and I have five children in public schools. You know, so we've got everything from soup to nuts on what the land commission does but the heartbeat the heart of the general land office is right there that's right and i don't care if you're ron nuremberg robert francis o'rourke or barack obama you're not touching this yeah so god bless god bless texas and may god always bless each and every one of its citizens thank you all, martinez and thank you all for being here today